The birth of a child, a graduation, a wedding, a new job or business opportunity, a new home, the loss of a loved one, those are the universal experiences that create a family called humanity. And I will submit to you that during these most empowering moments in all of our lives, where you are on the planet is secondary to where you are in your spirit. We all understand genetics. You're going to get your mother's eyes and your father's nose and there's nothing you can do about it. But the spirit of who you're going to become as a man or a woman, I believe that you can choose. You can do or be anything that you want to do or be. Spiritual genetics, that which makes you, you, that has nothing to do with anatomy, biology, chemistry, or physics, the part of you that cannot be analyzed, quantified, nor measured. Those words from Dr. King, those lessons from my mom, another key component of my spiritual genetics was set because I made up my mind that I was going to become world-class at whatever I did with my life. Who is the best in the business? If nobody says your name and you don't care, get out of the business. You'll never be any good at it. But the validation and that same conversation, when that question comes up, who's the best in the business? The ultimate validation is when somebody who does not like you says your name. When the folks who would not take your phone calls are now hoping that you'll return their calls. When the people who would not hire you yesterday cannot afford you today.